Hey, this is Cam, and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a performance and mindset coach. And what that means is that I try and help people to get the best out of themselves while dealing with the worst parts of ourselves. And the reason for making this channel for me is that my view of performance is very different to others who are in the same field as me. You know, we all grew up in societies which tell us that performance is all about what we achieve, whether it's the grades we get, or the number of fixtures that we win, or how much we earn. But from my perspective, that model of performance is outdated, it's unsustainable, and it's actually quite harmful. And how do I know this? Well, because I lived it for so many years. The truth is, is that growing up, I would describe myself as an insecure overachiever. I did everything I did to gain validation and approval from others, right? To be seen as a success in the eyes of my family, in the eyes of my peers, in the eyes of society, and to be recognized as a high performer. And I managed to get a first class degree in engineering from Cambridge University. I was a university level tennis player, and I managed to get a job after I graduated at a management consulting firm. But what this string of external achievements conveniently misses out on is the internal cost. You know, the losses, the injuries, the tears, having to retake exams for my A-levels, in my first year at Cambridge feeling like an utter imposter and actually ending up getting the lowest grade in my course in my first year in the college that I was a part of. And then the rejections, rejections from jobs that I wanted, from girls that I liked, and from sports teams that I wanted to be a part of, and the mental health challenges that I experienced during my Cambridge journey, with which had I not sought help for, would have led me down a very dark trajectory. Now, it was that help that I received that actually guided me to those achievements that I listed out earlier, and that completely transformed the way that I thought about performance. For me, true performance is about sustainability. In other words, we can maintain that high level, whether it's in our relationships, in our academics, in our careers, in terms of our health, in sports, in music, in whatever it is that we're doing. And for that performance to be sustained, it has to be two things. One, holistic, and two, fulfilling. So what do I mean by holistic? By holistic, I mean we can't reduce performance to just one area in our lives and expect everything else to fall into place. I mean, how many people do you know who are achieving great grades but are perpetually stressed? Or people who are doing great in their careers but really sacrificing the quality of their relationships or their health? I mean, sure, they can perform to a high level in the short term, but in the long run, it's just going to leave them feeling inevitably burnt out, whether physically, mentally, or emotionally. And fulfilling, in that the more fulfilled and satisfied with life that we tend to be, the better we tend to perform in whatever we do, and the more we can actually sustain that level of performance. And contrary to popular belief, Feeling fulfilled and peaceful does not make us complacent or lazy. It does not take away from our performance. If anything, it actually helps us to perform better because it gives us the freedom to let go of the mistakes that we've made, to learn from them and then to apply them without feeling like our self-worth is tied to how badly things have gone in the past or needing them to go well in order to feel worthy in the future. It makes us more resilient, more persistent, and more motivated on a day-to-day -day basis to take those small actions towards the goals that we have and towards that continuous and incremental improvement. Whereas on the other hand, being pushed on by pressure and the threat of punishment only serves to drain us of our energy in the long run. You know, it only makes us feel more like our self-worth is tied to the achievement that we have, and it breaks our confidence down each time we fall short, even by a small amount which is not sustainable in the long run. Now, in the last five years, I've been blessed to coach and mentor people from all different walks of life, from 17-year-old students through to 45-year-old directors at top organizations, all looking to create that sustainable high level of performance. And in these videos, I want to share with you the tools and techniques and insights that have helped them on their journeys, such that you can apply them to your own life to take meaningful and consistent steps towards the goals and aspirations that you have. And as part of this, I'm taking on a challenge called 30K by 30, 30K by 30. And the reason you probably haven't heard of this is because I've just made it up. I've just made it up. It is basically a challenge I've set myself to positively impact 30,000 people by the time I turn 30 years old. Now, when is that? 
I'm not going to tell you that. I'm kidding, that would kind of make it quite pointless. I turned 30 in one year and a half. A year and a half to impact 30,000 people through these videos. It's a big goal, but I'm excited for the challenge and I'd love for you to get involved with this journey. So please do like and subscribe and comment any feedback you have or ideas you have for future video topics. I really hope you'll find the content valuable, the personal stories relatable, and the overall vibe of the channel to be supportive and uplifting. Take care, and I hope to see you back here soon.